What is going on everybody? It's your favorite introvert here and today we're going to be doing a little demonstration of the return to home features of the Inspire 2. Today we're going to be going over what happens if you lose connectivity, what happens if your controller turns off in flight, and what happens if you move while you're flying, and what you need to do to set your return to home feature. So without any further ado, let's get to it. All right, we've got our Inspire all set up here. Let's walk it out to the circle. Now it's important to note that if you're flying in a new area, to go ahead and calibrate your compass when you arrive at the field. That way you know that it's set to your original flying location. I've flown here a few times before, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna skip that part. And I will be making a video of how to do that in the future. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So here's how we're going to set our home point. Top right hand corner, there are three dots. The top of the screen, we're going to select that. We're going to go to the top menu button. It looks like a drone. We're going to select that. And we're going to go to the home point settings, which is right at the top. On the right hand side of the screen, the left button is your return to home button. Set current aircraft position as home point. So where the aircraft is sitting right now, that is where the home point will be set. So you press OK. It gives you a notification. Home point recorded. Return to home altitude is 60 meters. So what you want to do to correct that, go back up to the top right hand corner. And we're going to go return to home altitude. It is important to note to take a look at your surroundings, see what the highest structure is, uh, estimate its height, and you want to go well above that. So we're flying in an open field with a few trees so I believe 25 meters should be high enough. In, in my screen, it is meters and not feet. So I'm setting mine to 25 meters, okay? So at the bottom, there's advanced settings here. If you wanna go ahead and select the advanced settings, there is a remote controller signal lost. This is a selection of what you want your Inspire to do if signal is ever lost. You have three options, return to home, landing, hover. Return to home is exactly what it sounds like. It will return to home. Landing is as soon as it loses connection, it will land right where it's at. And hover, it'll stop what it's doing and just sit there and hover until you can regain connection, regain composure, and bring the drone back home. So we're gonna leave it at return to home. So we're hovering now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go fly to a certain point in the field. So the button on the screen is the arrow pointing down to the H. You will select it, return to home, and land. You want to select that, so we're gonna go ahead and slide to the right. And right now the drone is searching for its home point. It raised up to its 25 meters. And it is coming home. It is searching. Hands are off the controls. Now it's initiating its landing sequence. The landing gear has come down. If at any point you are uncomfortable with where your drone is positioned in the sky, say you're near trees and you think it's getting a little too close, you can go ahead and regain control by tapping the X button on your controller, on your screen, and that will cancel out of any return to home that is set. So once it lands, we will go see how close to the center of the circle it landed. So let's give it a shot. It's probably one meter away from its takeoff point. We are now connected back to the Inspire 2. So now we're going to simulate what happens if we break connection, meaning turning the controller off, and then reestablish connection and reset the home point to the controller. So let's go ahead and initiate flight. 
We'll always want to make sure that our home point is reset. Home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Good to go. All right. So let's go. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the landing gear raising. Okay. It's also important to know you have a bar at the top of your screen there. It has red, yellow, and green indicator with a countdown timer. That is your expected battery life in flight. And it is estimated. It is not exact. It is not guaranteed. That yellow bar is the amount of battery that you will have left depending on your distance away from your home point. That will be where you need to start to think about coming home when it gets into that yellow point. I do not like to hit that yellow point just because. I like to fly safe. So we're going to climb to a safe altitude. We're going to initiate forward flight. And we are going to power down. All right. Inspire. The Inspire has immediately stopped. Now it's thinking about it. So let's go ahead and turn our controller back on. All right, it has initiated its home. Turn to home. Now this is flying the route that I flew. So it's gonna trace back the route that I flew. So I want to cancel that, okay? Because I reconnected, I want to cancel that out. Now let's say stuff really went wrong and you're now needing to set your home point to where you are. Let's go updated. see. Please check it on the map. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to tap the return to home button. Go home. Okay. Now it's going to go home. Now it's going to come to me. I am in a covered awning and I do not want it to land on me. So we'll go down. And you can remember, you can always cancel by pressing this red X to cancel the return to home. And it'll prompt you with a screen. Okay. I do not want to return home. because it will land on a roof. Okay, that's it. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video of the DJI Inspire 2 and its return to home features. I hope you found it helpful. I hope it saves you from a potential accident in the future. Remember, set the return to home. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, just leave me a comment below. Tell me what you want to see. If you want to see more videos, just hit that subscribe button and stay up to date. Thanks for checking out my channel.